I was here last week. That rainbow was here last week too. <laughs> So here I am in Skagway, Alaska. And you can tell it's not a very big town. I mean, <laughs> at all. Like, like you can't, you, you blink and you drive by it. I mean, you can see the mountains, how close they are. So you know there's not a big <laughs> area behind this. I can walk the street uh, from one end of this town to the other in about four minutes. And I was just wondering, I mean, I can't imagine, like I've, I've been a city boy all my life. I've lived, what I call living in the country is like a small housing project, maybe 20 minutes outside the city. But I can still get to the city. I can still drive to a grocery store. I can still go to the movies. I can still do all of that. I can feel the wind, so I'm gonna try and make it less noisy. A little bit. I can do all that kind of stuff. But I don't know about living in a town this size. I don't know how I would get along. It, like the, the views, the views here are spectacular. I mean, absolutely, like, like spectacular views guys every day you get to walk out into nature like that I mean absolutely breathtaking out here but uh, then that's it <laughs> I think in the summertime this town has about 800 people live here uh, and during the winter time, it goes down to about uh, anywhere between two to four hundred. Um, it, I don't know. I don't know if I could do it. Have are you guys living in a small town? What would you consider a small town? And remember, it's not only a small town. In order to get anywhere, I mean, they bring their food in by boat. Um, so <laughs> by a, on a barge. Once a week, a boat shows up on a barge and unloads and then bring, they ship, bring it to the little stores and that. And so if you don't get your groceries on that first or second day that, you know, the boat comes in, you can forget about bananas and apples and things like that, especially things that are not always year round in some places. And it, it's just, it boggles the mind now, if you want, if you're a nature fan and you want to get away from it all, this is perfect. Like you're alone most of the year here. Uh, the cruise ship season comes in, the town gets busy for a few hours and then it's, you know, at night it's a ghost town. Uh, and you can get away from the tourists by just heading into the woods and heading to places they don't know about. But I don't know how I would get along. I'm, I might be too city bred for this. As much as I love nature and I would love a cottage on the ocean and things like that, I don't know if I could do this every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the rest of my life living in a small town. With, you know, oh, here comes, here comes a little bit of bad weather. There goes the internet. There goes TV satellite. Uh, you know, the barge might not come in today because it's too rough a seas. So uh, we might not get the food in this week. We're going to have to, you know, get by with what we have. I, I don't know if I can do that. It must be pretty daunting and pretty amazing all at the same time. And that's a pop, this town is a tourist town. So imagine places along Alaska that have been built, that people stay, that are way away from here. On those small islands, there's 10,000 islands in Alaska. And there are people living on those islands with no internet, no electricity, no cable, no nothing, and they're perfectly happy. Maybe if I'd have never had the stuff I've grown up with, I would be perfectly happy too. But can you imagine a pretty tame <laughs> city boy heading off into Alaska now? 
I don't know if I would last two weeks, let alone two years. But uh, it's something to think about someday, right? It, I don't know how many people have that dream to head off into the remote place and have a little place all themselves and they don't have to, you know, taxes are next to nothing if you're out by yourself in a house someplace in the middle of the forest that they can't find you and you hunt for your own food and you fish for your own food and there's no cable bills, uh, you drink fresh water, you, you know, things like that. It sounds like a dream. But in all honesty, I think most of us, most of us, would find it a nightmare. <laughs> but uh, hats off to the folks that live here. Absolutely hats off. If you live here in Skagway year round, I would love to know what you do all year round. I bet you the local bars are pretty popular. And you probably have the odd singer, guitar player for some entertainment. And uh, then you just wait for the cruise season one more time. <laughs>